Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can get started mining Zealous Coin using your Windows 10 or 11 based computer here in 2024 in less than 10 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you earn more and keep more of the cryptocurrency that you are mining here in 2024 as you build your holdings. So before we dive into the video, I do always like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, just taking a quick look at what's going on in the crypto markets as a point of reference if you happen to be watching this video in the future. So if that is something you're interested in, feel free to watch this portion. If not, skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the tutorial then. But overall, crypto is up almost 3% today to a total market cap of $3.32 trillion. Um, of course, we are still seeing a lot of red over the last seven days. Now, again, I don't think this is anything to be too concerned about as we've seen a lot of pullback, especially on some of the bigger coins like Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP. Um, and that's completely normal looking back at previous bull run Bitcoin halving cycles. So. I don't think this is anything to be too worried about. Of course, it does suck to see this much red, this much down, but that just means that the more you can get now, the better. So of course, before diving into the tutorial, I do want to take a quick look at Zealous Coin itself, um, which is actually up almost, well, I guess over 9% today, almost 10%. So currently priced at $8.96 and number 998 on coin market cap. So they've got around 1.8 million Zealous circulating. And if we go to the all-time chart, you can see that this is only a few month old coin. Now, of course, their all-time high, if we uh, scroll down over here, is $9.21. So we're only, you know, roughly 25 cents off of that all-time high. But what's really cool about this coin is it has such a low circulating supply and relatively low max supply of 18.4 million, which is actually less than Bitcoin. We also haven't seen this go through a bull cycle yet so this coin has a lot of potential and one other thing I do like to mention here is they are on very few exchanges right now of course there are some bigger exchanges that you'll most likely recognize but with that being said if this coin gets listed on something like a Coinbase, a Binance, a Robinhood, something like that this could go up in value a lot so how do you start mining this coin well, we're going to be using a site called Unminable. Now, if you're not familiar with this site, this is basically a site that lets you mine coins that are not traditionally mineable, whether it be that they are just not coins you can mine in general, or coins like Bitcoin where you can mine them, but you have to invest a lot of money in hardware. What this does is it allows you to choose an algorithm that's profitable on your hardware, whether it be CPU or GPU, mine that algorithm, and they auto-convert and pay you out in the coin of your choosing, which of course in this case is Zealous. And what's nice about that is it lets you just get the coins you're interested in. You don't have to worry about trading fees or anything like that. So what I recommend, if you're interested in following along, use the link down below. It is a 25% discount if you use that link, which I'll talk about here in just a minute. But once you're here on the site, go ahead and click Get Started with our wizard, and then you'll choose either Basic or Advanced. I always recommend Basic, but Advanced is there if you're interested. Now, I'm going to be doing the tutorial based off GPU mining, since I think that's what most people are looking to do these days. But if you are following along, with a CPU based computer or if you're looking to use a Mac OS based computer to mine, choose that CPU option. Here's where you'll choose the algorithm that you want to use to mine. Now again, I would recommend going out to whattomine.com. Find what's best and most profitable for your specific computer. As you can see, of course, with Zealous, they have their own algorithm. They are a mineable coin, but that doesn't mean Zealous Hash is actually the most profitable for your computer. You may be more profitable mining something like, uh, you know, Kapow, ETC hash, any of those other ones. So I'm going to be doing the tutorial based off Kapow, but please double check that on whattomine.com. 
Here's where you choose the coin you want to get paid out in. Of course, we're going with Zealous, but choose whatever you're interested in. There's almost 90 different coins to choose from. Just make sure that when you get to this page, you do enter in the correct address. Not only correct address for the coin, but just correct address in general. As you can see here, when I paste in my address, it says everything looks good. If I delete that seven, it doesn't show any errors. So it won't actually notify you if that's wrong. Now, just because it doesn't show you any errors doesn't mean it's correct and everything will work as expected even if this is wrong until you go to get paid out and I'd hate to see you mine and then not get paid out. So I always like to say double and triple check that. And finally here is the referral code section. Now if you use the link in the description you'll notice my Bitcoin tips referral code auto populated just like you saw here on screen. But if you didn't use that link and still want that 25% discount the code is Bitcoin dash tips capital B capital T. And essentially what this does is here on Unminable, there is a 1% pool mining fee, meaning if you mine 100 Zealous coin, you will pay one of those coins to Unminable. It doesn't matter if you mine that in a day or in a year, or if the coin is $8 or $800, you're always going to pay that one coin. And by using this code, you reduce that fee from 1% down to 0.75, meaning that for every 100 coins, you only pay 0.75, meaning you get to keep 99.25. So a pretty decent chunk back. So feel free to use that or continue without it if you'd prefer. And finally, here's where you'll download the miner and get started. Now I always personally recommend Gminer as it's the one that I personally use and it's always worked really well for me. Plus it supports both major GPU manufacturers, but please feel free to choose whatever you're interested in here. But what you'll do is select download miner files and choose this Windows 64 zip file. Download this and extract it. If you miss that extraction step, this will not work and it will give an error right away when you double click the bat file to get started, which we'll talk about in just a minute. So if you get that error right away, just make sure you didn't miss the extraction step. Then come back over here to Unminable and click the blue download.bat file button. And as you can see, Google Chrome did call this out and say, hey, this can't be verified. Are you sure you want to download it? You will have to go ahead and say download unverified file. Now, if you're not comfortable doing this, simply select delete from history and maybe check out some of my other videos on faucets or cloud mining where you don't have to actually download anything to your computer. If you're comfortable doing that, go ahead and move forward by saying download anyway. Then all you have to do is drag and drop this file into the folder with all of the files that you extracted. So as you can see, I have unminable xel kapow gminer.bat. And to get started mining, all you have to do at this point is double click this. Now you will notice I get another uh, pop up saying, hey, Windows has protected your PC. You will have to say more info and run anyway. This is only the first time you run the file, um, so you won't have to do this after this first time. But again, if this is something you're not comfortable with, unfortunately there is no workaround for this. You will just have to select don't run and move on to something else in crypto. But if you are comfortable with that, go ahead and say run anyway. And as you can see, we are now up and running mining Zealous coin using my RTX 3070 on the Kapow algorithm in less than 10 minutes. So. With that being said, I do want to take a second just to say if you went through this whole tutorial and you are running into issues at any step, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Always happy to help troubleshoot and get you up and running. Now, when you get to this point and the miner's running, it does take 15 to 30 minutes for the stats that you see here in the CMD window to show up here under the addresses tab in Unminable. That's completely normal, and if you still don't see anything after about an hour of running the CMD miner, you may have something configured incorrectly. Feel free to leave a comment, always happy to help troubleshoot, or it's pretty simple, especially once you have all of the information to run back through and recreate that file, just confirming that nothing got miss missed in the paste or anything like that. And on the other end, when you're ready to be done mining, all you have to do is find the CMD window and hit the red X. Now you may be wondering why am I telling you how to close a window? Well, here with Unminable, when you stop the miner, you may actually continue seeing payments and stats on the website for up to 12 hours after stopping the miner. It's a little strange and I've seen the question of, hey, you know, I closed the miner, but it's still paying me. Is it mining in the background? 
If that CMD window is closed, you can know that it is no longer mining. I've personally stopped a miner, turned off the computer, and unplugged it from the wall, and continued seeing payments the next morning when that computer was not connected at all. So it's just something that does happen with mining sometimes, and I do like to mention it just to let you know that if that's closed, you are no longer mining. So with that being said, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. If not, let me know why you didn't like it down in the comments. And if you do run into any issues or have any other questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below as well. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video.